Oh, <laughs> you thought I was kidding about reviewing Blue Box, huh? Well, you're right. I'm live reacting to it. Thank you to our final our patrons, Strawbones and Black Wolf. Now, before we come to this breakdown slash live reaction to chapter 70 of Blue Boxo, please leave your own notes on the chapter in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do a Patreon down below. You can support me for as little as $1 a month to get these exclusive videos, early content, and more. Now, let's hop into the live reaction. What's up, guys? I'm the Pencil Union. Here we are to do a live reaction to Chapter 70 of Blue Box, which is known as. <clears throat> An exciting event. But enough of this. Let's not waste any more time. Editing me. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> She's spraying a cactus. <laughs> now, admittedly, I do like how this is sort of like, we're kind of, we're, 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 with Blue Box, what I like is like the slow kind of like block by block building that we're doing here. And I remember her friend who, this is what happens when you read too many manga at the same time. All the names blend together unless they are super major characters. But the older sister of the new hypothetical main love interest for Taiki did say like, hey, you know, like that would be like that. Love is like a plant. Sometimes you gotta nurture it, you gotta let it grow. It'd be like that. Maybe when the bud sprouts, you're in love. Maybe blah blah blah. Like, I love that. And what does she not so get to represent her love in terms of a plant? A cactus. Because it doesn't take much. Just takes a few little spurts. I like it. I like the symbolism there. I like the symbolism. A little more. Be careful to overwater your plant. Give it plenty of sunshine for its flowers to bloom. You gotta give it plenty of exposure. I mean, you gotta get to bonding. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on now. Uh, it's it like, admittedly, admittedly, I, I remember when I first told my friend that I read this manga weekly too, and they looked at me like, what's wrong with you? And to be fair, I couldn't give them a logical answer. I just enjoy it. I And the art is amazing. Like, legitimately, look at this. Look at this. Gosh darn, it's... The reason Horikoshi is better, <laughs> the reason Horikoshi's art is better is because there's typically more going on, which is why I can call it just crazier. And the reason Boichi is better is because they're Boichi, they're literally insane. But regardless, <laughs> this art is probably, nah, it's not probably, it is number three. I think this art is even better than Black Clover's art. And Black Clover has some amazing art, especially now, so. It'd be like that when it'd be like that sometimes. You know the art is amazing. So, the art's amazing. Your boy loves a good romance story. And we have good characters? Come on now. But let's see. And, I and the thing is here, right? Since this is a slow burn, obviously. We've been here for 70 chapters. And we've known who the main guy likes since chapter one. One of the girls already confessed her love to him. What? At this point, like 30-something chapters ago. And a new love interest is added. This is, this is peak slow burn. So... I appreciate it. This is high. This is high stakes to me in stories like this. She's con she's considering and conflicted over her feelings. This stuff hurts. This stuff, this stuff is painful, but in the best way possible. But let's see. Tell page art requested. She not so necessarily your phone. Y'all are demons. What? Y'all are demons. Y'all are demons of a different variety. Who requested this? Who requested it? Which one of you sickos? Which one of you demons went out there and was like, yeah? Give me that. Give me that. Like, really? I don't like that blade up just for you. Oh, by the way. <laughs> I feel like this is implied at this point, but I do have it on me. <laughs> just so you know, I keep it on me at all times. <laughs> it may be just out of sight, but it's never out of mind. Remember that. However, let's see. Autumn training camp. Yep, three. <laughs> I wish I could, like, logically explain why I have to, like, mm, lean forward. And I can, I just, I, the way my computer's set up, I have it to, the video flips, but it's, it's to my left, so I have to lean forward to look at it, and I do it this way, because if I were to do it this way, I would be looking away from the panels when I edit it, so I'm doing it like this, but this text is tiny, so excuse me as I <laughs> drag it closer, let's see. 
Autumn training camp. Yep, three days and two nights during the school's founding anniversary. Plus the weekend. This will be the this year will be a joint camp between badminton and basketball. Hey, hey, the, hey. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'll I'll admit. Loki, the cultural festival was a bit of a, a letdown. So hopefully, hopefully this is just. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like I, this is like the first time I've ever even thought of reviewing something like this. I will admit. It's so like the way I talk about stinks is completely different. <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking about it. Like <laughs> this is oddly hilarious only to me, but I'll probably get used to it pretty quickly. But of course, it's between badminton, basketball, and the rhythm and gymnastics team because that's literally where all three. Well, I guess if you include her now four of our main quote-unquote love s characters I mean, even then i wouldn't say she's necessarily included yet especially with that new basketball guy like maybe not maybe not she she may just be there to put false competition put up an air if you will this place will be pretty nice the practice will be awful <laughs> makes sense makes sense oh what an exciting event basically a big group sleepover sounds so <laughs> this is a joint camp basketball team will share lodgings you know, the chance to push you to start dating the upper class with the home Yeah. I mean, like, the moment, the moment the older sister told her that, like, oh, yeah, it's a tall overseas upperclassman, I knew something bad was going to happen. And literally, same chapter. So it'd be like that, it'd be like that sometimes. Leave it to me. It's just a quick matchmaker for Inota and Hina. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we like, we like that. We like that. We like that. The cute girl like Hina telling him she likes him. He'd be crazy to not go out with her. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll refrain. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to make a joke. But let me refrain. God, like, look at this. Look at this art. Like, hi. It's your local struggling artist. <laughs> I, I cannot... I cannot describe the detail. Like, first, just look at the clothes. Look at the clothes. This is a white shirt and black pants. That's it. Look at the detail, bro. You got the different levels of shading. You have the different levels of darkness to portray the motion. You have the way the lines are blended in towards the back to also display the motion. You have the curvature of the different lines to show the different parts of where his body is moving. You see amazing definition in the arms, his gosh darn elbow, like everywhere. You see the blur of the badminton racket because it's moving so fast. You see the blur of his arms. You see the concentration and focus everywhere. Like, it's golden. It's go like, I can't, I cannot describe. <laughs> How insane this is, just to me, and notably, I'm fodder. <laughs> if we're talking, if we're in artist power scaling terms, like if your average mangaka is like here, I'm not on the screen. I'm probably under the ground. Like I'm probably in the basement <laughs> in terms of general artistic skill. However, I have enough of a Sharingan where I'm like, wow. This is generally insane, genuinely insane, and I can't, I can't knock the hustle. This is amazing to me. I don't know. I'm not like I'm so happy that we have artists in the comment section because we, like, we can all just salivate together. <laughs> or not even artists, just people who appreciate art in the comment section. Like, yes, this is gorgeous. So, like, jeez, and this is on a weekly basis too. Like, how do you draw this weekly? What the heck? And I admittedly, I still think what Horikoshi draws on a weekly basis and what Boichi draws on a weekly basis is a little bit. A little bit nuttier, but still, this is still crazy. Mm. Okay, but we got an intense sparring match going on right now. She is, she's shocked. Is Inomata, his Inota, I keep, where did I get Inomata from? That's probably, so, so many names that start with I just float around in my head. So I'll, they're, they're, I'll probably remember some other time. Is Inota actually good? It's actually the one of the best on the team, probably the best when it comes to the first years. He did beat Yusa last time after all. What? Maybe Yusa was wearing weights on his arms and legs or something. Like hardcore training during a match. I mean, that'd be cool though. Like, I remember back when I was younger and we were in gym. There was this one time where we were allowed to like <laughs> suit up, quote unquote. Like, he, they were like ankle weights, arm weights everywhere. And then we would just have to play just for like extra challenge if you wanted to do that. And I remember it was just this time where me and all my friends just like super weighted up and tried to play dodgeball and it was awful. But hey, you never know. Let's see. Mm, it's better than I expected. 
<laughs> what did you think though? Like he was he was made the one to teach you how to be team manager. Obviously they wouldn't just put some scrub to do that. Let's see. Make sure go get hook up from the stab room. What am I your governor? <laughs> That's a slightly weird... Okay. I know I just went from Slurping Mall. That's a slightly weird angle. I can tell why it's done like that, though. Like, his mouth is hidden, and you can tell... It. Okay, never mind. It's still good. It's still good. Never, never mind. I think the only thing here is that, like, at this angle, I feel like you should be able to see his mouth. Or at least part of it. Because you see all of his eyes. Like, I can't even... I'm not even sure how I could do this, but, like... If you have this much of your eye showing, you're gonna see some part of your mouth. You're gonna see some part of your nose too, realistically. Like, but the nose is kind of excusable. The mouth isn't. Like, you should be able to see something here. But it's kind of like his mouth is just completely off one side of his face, which, like, that's what it would look like <laughs> in real life. But let's see. It's the last practice match. I feel like I've been getting better and better. My legs don't tire out even in the second game. I stay focused and deal with round the round round the headshots better. I'm in good shape. But he won't take me on these days. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> My supremacy is being challenged. Let me not. Also, fun fact, you know, like, free, so subscribe button. If you didn't, now you do. Please hit those. They help the channel out a lot. They help me out a lot. And they help the video out a lot. Thank you. But, mm, mm, you know, the, let's go fetch some shuttle cops from the teacher's office. I'm taking a break. They say something stopping isn't good for the body. That's the. Oh, that's for marathons. I love how he still goes and ends up helping her. <laughs> he's, he's, he is such a good guy. Like, no wonder. No wonder. No wonder he gets... <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. The thing is, I, I, I always have jokes that are, like, constantly flowing, but I need to just hit pause on some of them. This is a case of hitting pause on some of them. Let's see. But, okay, both Hina and Shinatsu are like... What are y'all going? Hmm? What are y'all doing? Behind closed doors? What are y'all doing? <laughs> Natsu. Here's your new face. Matsu. Matsuoka. Totally spacey air. I am not. He... Something... Something feels off about his hair. It almost looks fake. I think, I think it's mainly because of the, um the comb over here it doesn't look like it's attached properly like i'm not even sure how i would blend it properly i think i would just how would i blend it properly i mean it's uh, no nah, no nah, i think it's just this one shot because the that's it so they use typically like you can tell at points of merger where there's like a whole ton of forehead showing there's softer line usage to sort of convey like it's coming out of their head meanwhile here it's all hard line usage which kind of makes it look like it's a like, I feel like I could, in this shot right here, I feel like I could just grab it and lift it off his head. <laughs> but they blended a lot better here. So there we go. Let me space here. And uh, R2. If let's uncheck, you turn to stone. And they direct you as a statue in honor of Emmy's beautiful. Oh, okay. You got game. You got game. Don't you game? Okay, we can't knock this man's hustle. He, he... Once again. <laughs> Pause. Pause. Don't get, don't get me. But let's see. Being silly again, practice is going to start. <laughs> All right, so now you know, you know that has some genuine competition. Like, I would say, I would say he was false perceived competition. I would say, um, there was someone else. I forget who out who the other one was, but this guy, we we can I can at least I can tell his intentions. He he about the business right now. He is definitely about the business right now. So, you know that. Don't when he say time, bro. Don't get don't get caught fooling. Don't get caught fooling. But let's see. Oh, the manager gets all the small jobs. That's why I'm helping you. For real. To be giving you so drinks. <laughs> what do you mean for real? <laughs> He's not even all the, the best part about this whole one-sided dynamic is that he doesn't even go to the same school. <laughs> he's just not he's not here. <laughs> oh, if it isn't Ayame. So really did join a club. Great, right? I doubt you'll stick with it. Oh, <laughs> Everyone, everyone has that one friend that does things just to do them, and you're like, it's "How long gonna be? A week? Two weeks? A month? Maybe? I know you ain't making a year. Like, like, we all have that one friend, so it does make sense that she's known like that. So, hello, you sure know a lot of people. Like guy before and this one. Oh, I dated all of them. Let me guess, that's gonna be the truth. They're both my exes. <laughs> both. 
Double, d double kill. <laughs> that first guy was from last summer, I want to say. And that upperclassman just now was the start of this year, I think. I mean, like, notably, I can't knock the hustle. Do you. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not one to shame anybody. Have, live your life. Have fun. Have fun. You ain't got long. <laughs> so if you can, do it your will. So I can't, I can't even knock on your hustle here. Live your life. Live your life. <laughs> live your life. That got the pencil. 2022. But regardless. But, but I ended both relationships on good terms. We can talk still. I. No how she said I. Never. <laughs> another, another word of advice for that got the pencil. Never be the one to get dumped. Do the dumping. <laughs> can't get hurt if you hurt them first. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds bad. Let's see. You're in a tournament on a whole different level. <laughs> she played a different kind of game. <laughs> How nice it is to be in love so often. It's a while I know nothing about. <laughs> this is about being in love all the time. When someone tells you they like you, why not go out with them? Ah, I see planting the seeds. Planting the seeds. We like we like the subconscious messaging. We like the subconscious messaging. That's going to be easily picked up on. Like, that's... I don't know. One, you know, it's dense. Two, most guys are dense. So I don't think we would take this as like a clear kind. Uh, like as from the omniscient reader's perspective, like, oh, I know what she means. But like you run that by a guy and he'd be like, what do you, what do you mean by that? What, 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 what are you talking about? Hmm? Hmm? That's shady. You stay away from me. You vixen. <laughs> but, interesting. But I turned down people who really are my side. Such a cruel thing to say so flippantly. I mean, I get that though. Like, I'm trying to think. Would I ever? I don't know. Like, admittedly, <laughs> here at Dagger of the Pencil, we don't really have a type. <laughs> but I do have people I would. I just generally wouldn't be attracted to. So I agree with her. She's being honest. Like, I can't. Once again, I can't knock her hustle. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, this is definitely a character who I feel like, to some degree, I'm supposed to knock the hustle of. Like, they were introduced as. Kind of that kind of character. But oh, oh, she got a spin. She got a spin right now. What about Yusa? You became the manager for him. <laughs> like, that, that is some de deep determination. That's that. This is this. <laughs> so, like... Can I use the word carnal? These are teenagers. These are babies. Basic attraction versus, like, actual love. Makes sense. She just finds Yusa... Yusa interesting meanwhile any sort of love would be something different and deeper and more intertwined makes sense after all why wouldn't i be grateful if someone said they like me once again once again what she not so got a plant i always planted seeds you know what i'm saying all right i mean i like them at first but i might change my mind after we start going out so why not give it a shot even if i like someone the chances of them liking me back compared to me falling with someone who already said they like me seems like the latter would be faster why is she Loki spitting right now? Why is she Loki spitting? That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't even. Once again, the hustle cannot be knocked. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's see. That's why you know you should also go out with Hina. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I just don't think it'll happen though. <laughs> I feel. I feel like. I feel like Taiki's too committed at this point. Or Inada. I, is his name Taiki? Or am I just misremembering? They keep calling him Inada. But, makes sense. I mean, I once again, I can't really not the hustle. It does make logical sense. It's true. Someone saying that they like you would definitely get you thinking about them. Mmm, look at this face of contemplation. Wait, what? Does he mean what I think he means? She's evil. <laughs> she's evil, but she's evil in the best of ways. I can't not the hustle. Yeah, this one's the bad, you know. All training camps back this year. So tough. Starts with a sudden sprint up a mountain. That, get, that brings back memories. <laughs> that brings back memories of, of an old, harsher time. Let's see. Even though the lodgings are nice, we barely get to enjoy them. A school alum runs that place. Really? Ah, that's why we all reserve for so cheap, even with a huge group. What did you know about the bonfire legend? Legend. Ah, oh, let's see. Legend. How do you know... How You know how they built a bonfire last night? They say the two people asked each other out in front of it. Fire love will... The fire of their love will erupt into a blaze and they live happily ever after. Talk about cheese... Yeah. How that girl in the badminton team, the boy in the volleyball team, got together last year. That was just a coincidence. That was happening a couple of years before, too. You ever heard on someone? Ah, ah, ah. ah. All right. So, shock horror. Huh. 
I really like the chapter. Mainly because it takes Ayame in a direction that I didn't think we were going to take her. I mean, like, somewhat. We did mention a little bit how <laughs> she was definitely rooting for Hina here. But we open up, obviously, with this whole idea that Shinatsu is dealing with right now. She has a plant that doesn't need too much water to survive, but needs a whole ton of exposure to really thrive and bloom. So this already, this is essentially underlying the entire dynamic between Hinata and Shinatsu. Like, sure, the water was already given. They have already have enough interactions where they're both interested in each other. They just need more exposure to each other, which is hard due to their respective sports and stuff like that. But they live in the same house. I feel like they want to be like that sometimes. Number two, we use Ayame in a very interesting way. A character who is very experienced in terms of dating, as we can tell, obviously is in support of any sort of dating that she can get her hands on. And with Hina already admitting that she likes Inoda, she wants to see the ship. She wants to make a cannon. And thusly, she's using her experience in order to justify the canonicity of the ship. Like, hey, you know, if you like somebody and they tell you they like you, you might as well end up trying it just to see if you like them too. Like... Let that bond grow. Let that bond happen. I like it. I like it. And it puts Inoda in an interesting spot, especially right before this training camp where there's this whole thing about, you know, confessing your love in front of a bonfire, letting your love blaze, you know what I'm saying? Set your heart ablaze, set your love ablaze. Get in there. And that's going to leave this now trio, because I don't think Ayame... Like, Ayame is like, there's a fakeler for more so... Actually, I'd say for both Hina and Shinatsu, she's much more of a fake lawyer. She just seems to be that way. Because I don't think I don't think either of them know why she really became the manager of the badminton team. But they're going to make their assumptions based on their own biases. So I don't think she's going to be included. But this even this whole love triangle thing between Shinatsu, Inota, and Hina is going to be... I feel like something's going to happen here. You can tell by the look on Shinatsu's face and, and all the conversations she's had. Something going to pop off. Or... Nothing pops off, and we just keep on going. It's it's one of the perils of romance manga, especially a slow burn like this. Like, maybe something will happen, but at the same time, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. However, I like the chapter. I think it's great. I lit it up for a reason. However, please what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that little notification bell so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do a Patreon down below. You can support for as little as one dollar a month. You get things like exclusive videos, early content, and more. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is That Guy the Pencil, riding off.